Hello viewers, this is Machuga Nyarieko TV where I will analyze socio-economic politics and the issues to do with governance. And today I will want us to focus on the Ruto Gashawa war in UDA and their implications. Is the Ruto Gachawa war good or bad for Kenyans? Before uh, we proceed, I will uh, request those viewing this uh, episode for the first time to subscribe so that wherever we produce another uh, video, YouTube will automatically not notify them. Back to our topic, uh, which is on uh, the Ruto Kashawa war and its implications. There have been several opinions concerning the war between the top leadership in uh, the ruling party. Well, as others frame or whereas Gashawa frames those who are surrounding the president, those who are surrounding the president also frame Gashawa for reasons unknown to us. That will be a topic of another day, but today I want us to focus on uh, the issue at hand, the implication of their war. Implications can be positive or negative, so it will depend on you uh, viewers to analyze whether the implications are good for you or bad for you. Straight to the points, the first point is that uh, the relationship, the sour relationship, of course it's not good, is good for internal party democracy. In the recent past, UDA has been having party primaries all over the Republic. Despite the fact that one could argue uh, uh, UDA being the ruling party, it should have conducted these party primaries within a day, it has just behaved like a traditional uh, or a regional party, a party without funds. And because of this, there have been uh, interference of the top leadership on various areas. For example, in Nairobi, we have uh, seen a war between the governor of Nairobi and some MPs. We saw the other day Gakuyu, Gakuyu saying, I think it's Gakuyu, saying that if he will be defeated by the governor of Nairobi, he will do or, or he will read an endless resignation of members of UDA to a new party. So, on the other side, there were those people who were purporting to change the constitution, the party constitution, so that they can have several debut party leaders so that they could neutralize, they could bring down the power 
of the shower of which i did an episode on that the shower went ahead of, of, of them and i tweeted them so because of this war people are now able to speak freely if party families are not good or are, have not been conducted properly people are coming out uh, confidently and speaking because there is no that unity and in most cases unity leads to democratic dictatorship so internal party democracy is likely to widen up second this was Hollywood because they bring about the second thought you know since Kenya Kwanza was uh, recruited into their political office they went ahead and uh, persuaded not know whether through money or what but they persuaded the opponents to join the government and since then because they now had numbers they went out of their manifesto they started doing anything anywhere something that they didn't have a consent with the people because i believe that the consent the agreement that people have with Kenya Kwanza is contained in the Jubilee, in the UDA manifesto or in the Kenya Kwanza manifesto whereby they expect the issues the five pillars the five big issues of the Kenya Kwanza to be addressed but because there is no numbers i mean because they have sufficient numbers uh, actually we were told that they climbed mount kenya they were enabled to climb mount kenya so since they went to mount kenya at the top or at the peak they went there and they forgot just as Moses went to Mount Sinai, he overstayed there. Then when he came back, he found the people have turned to worshipping the Egyptian gods, idols. So, since they were given this opportunity, they overwhelmed, they were overwhelmed, they, they have overstayed at the mountain, and therefore the differences will make them they think because probably the shower will remind the kenya kwanza team that we promise kenyans that we shall have tea prices better tea prices better coin prices mama mboga will be given this so because of these differences this is likely to happen they will have a second thought actually now what is dominating their government is double speak they say it is today tomorrow the other thing but with these differences with these differences things will change how will they change we don't have a strong opposition now we have a very weak opposition we don't have Olengo who can stop the business, the parliament business around. You know, sometimes you don't need to be a hundred MPs you are in a given party to, to pass a given point in the parliament. One person can do it. So we don't have a person of such a caliber. Now we can see Olengo is a retired general, despite the fact that he's now a governor for CIA. I think is now he should be exercising 
what he had been preaching. That we have the budget a few meters from now. The differences are as good because if you have followed the recent news or clips that are moving all over, an MP somewhere was just advising the president to increase taxes, increase them and we will pass them. We have seen what the taxes can do. And one wonders what have taxes done in the last two years, see, for example. Because it is like people now have moved from the frying, from uh, the from fire, from is it frying pan to fire? They are being burned down there. So, what is this that? Uh, this MP has seen and others cannot see. Kulipi's allowances were increased in the last two in the last two years. The budget was prepared in a way that or the proposals that are there, you one may think that they were prepared by and Kenyans and the public participation that is taking place is opaque, is dark because people are discussing the ways of collecting revenue. To where? Is it the same case as the railway uh, that people say it is the super railway is uh, moving to nowhere? Are the people collecting taxes to nowhere? Or are taxes being increased to nowhere? I'm saying that because the UDM manifesto is well understood by most people. It was said to be a bottom up economic approach. If at all they are collecting taxes or they are increasing, which can be good, then they should say from our manifesto we were to construct or to build 300 dams. But today we want the, uh, to collect this major, ma much of money or this amount of money so that we can construct 50 dams. We can construct a number of uh, these kilometers. Indicated. We have to see where money is coming from and where money is going. Initially, during budget reading, I remember during the time of uh, Nyachai is when changes came in. When the likes like Gimdavad were reading the budget, when he was uh, the Minister for Finance, no one understood. We could not understand the English. We could be seated around radios listening to, uh, to budget presentation in the parliament, and then afterwards, we could listen to radio what has increased, what has reduced because of the language that we are using. But uh, when people complained, when Yachai came in, is he came in with a similar language that we can now understand, that is now traditional, that has become a norm in our parliament. So initially, people like Musaria, Chris Santos, Okemo, 
could you read the budget that we could not understand. No one could understand what they were saying. We could only wait for news. You are seated from 2.30 p.m. maybe to 6 in the evening and then later you want to know from the radio what has increased or decreased. The same case is happening and in Dungu, the CS for finance must know that things have changed and this is a bottom up approach whereby we had an agreement with our president that Rwanda dams, agriculture, and intentional uh, employment approach, where by they do things intentionally so as to improve. But today, if you look at the budget proposals, there is no intentional, there is no current budget apart from what is traditionally to pay workers. There is no money for the young people who can slash maybe around the town, wash, and have at least money which they can go to the cyber and browse so that they can look for jobs. Because the free Wi-Fi is still with Eliud for work. He has not, we have not, have not had where it is working. So, the differences will make those who want to pass the budget with the chest to use head. Because these two gentlemen Pluto and Gashai were very sharp. And all of them know where there is a mistake.